Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to a new video. You're probably sitting here like, Tori, are you okay? Why do you look like a hot mess? That is because, my dear friends, I just finished cleaning the whole house from head to toe. I didn't show this room, didn't show the bedroom, didn't show our guest toilet, but you guys will see all of that. If I shared every single room in the house, we'd be here all day. Not that my house is big, but it takes me a long time to clean. So, a little bit of a background on today's video. I really, really want to film my, like, decorate for Halloween video with me. Decorate for Halloween with me video. But who wants to decorate a filthy house? So, I figured we'd kill two birds with one stone, so they say what a horrible saying. And film a little spring clean with me because this house has not been properly cleaned or like really cleaned at all since before we went to New Zealand and if you know me you know that it's so not like me I'm a massive clean freak if it's not clean I just my mood is like goes from here to here so I've honestly not had my life together since we've been back from New Zealand but that's a whole other story for a whole other time <laughs> And yeah, I really really wanted to clean the house so that I could decorate for Halloween tomorrow So keep an eye out for that video. It is coming very soon, but um, I'm not gonna sit here and ramble for the next 10 minutes grab your cups of tea grab your snacks grab whatever and I hope you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation. I'm gonna cut to a voiceover I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy that was so cringe. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome to another Clean With Me Spring Cleaning Edition. First thing we're going to do before we start cleaning is just open the whole house up, open the windows, open the blinds. I think I even turned the fans on just to get it really nice and airy. So for this video, I'm not going to be talking about what products I'm using because I used so, so many. But anything if you're interested will be listed in the description box so as always i'm starting off in the kitchen putting away any clean dishes and then moving on to scrubbing the sink I feel like the sink is always one of those jobs where I don't realise how disgusting it is until after I clean it, then I realised how badly it actually needed to be cleaned. Once the sink is done, moving on over to the stove top, just removing the grates, spraying the whole thing down and then just wiping it all off with a paper towel. using my method spray I love that spray so much and these flowers we need to talk about those I bought if you guys saw I think it was the video before this one I did a little bit of a TK Maxx haul and found that jug and I'm absolutely obsessed with it I unfortunately have not been able to find sunflowers to put in it but I'm absolutely loving how the lilies look in there I think they're so pretty so my knife block was definitely overdue for a wipe down, so I just quickly did that. Then I'm just spraying down all the benches in the kitchen and giving them a quick wipe over. And then I'm going to move on to wiping down all of the cupboards.
And then that's pretty much going to be it for the kitchen. I'm just replacing the tea towel with a clean, fresh one. You guys know how I feel about tea towels. <laughs> and just popping my flowers back on the bench. And that is the kitchen done. Next, moving on to my little hallway table, as you guys can see, I still have all my birthday cards on there, so it was definitely time to pack those up, and then I just moved everything out of the way so I could wipe it down properly, and I was actually surprised at how dusty this was. Like, you guys can see if you look closely at the wipe when I, like, flip it around. Uh, did you see that? <laughs> it's pretty wild how dusty that gets. And can we just take a second to appreciate my peace lily in the bottom left corner there for a second? How happy is she? Look at those flowers! <laughs> Then just moving on over to the dining table, please ignore the little centerpiece thing that I have going on there. Um, I took the plant away and it just looked absolutely naked because, as I said in the start of this video, I'm going to be redecorating it with my little Halloween goodies. Keep an eye out for that video, you guys, because it is seriously such a fun time. I cannot wait for you guys to see that one. And then, moving on to my death-defying stunt, standing on top of the stool whilst wiping down the fan. So I just sprayed the cloth with a little bit of my Method multi-purpose spray. You can also just get the cloth damp with water and it does a really good job at just wiping the dust straight off without making a huge mess on the floor. And I'll just do this throughout the entire house, every single fan, and they look so much better. Once we have survived being up on the stool, <laughs> we got down in one piece. Moving on over to the lounge room, I just take all the blankets and cushions off the couches and wipe them down with these leather wipes. And then I'll just straighten up this room a little bit because I didn't realize before I started how far back the furniture had actually been pushed and how crooked the rug and the coffee table were. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go you Then once Landrin is done, moving on to our guest bathroom Here strong. I'm just spraying out the bath, spraying out the sink, wiping down the mirror and cleaning the cabinet Please ignore that gross looking hose sitting in my bath. I use it to wash my hair, but it's also really handy when it comes to cleaning the bath. And then once this is all done, I just sprayed out the shower with some of my magical method multi-purpose cleaning spray. No one uses this shower, so I don't feel the need to get in there and disinfect it. I literally just got in there to basically wipe the dust off everything. <laughs> Then moving on to the most dreaded room of the house, our ensuite. I don't know, well I do know, it's because we use this room out of more than any other room in the entire house, so it always gets absolutely filthy. We get mold in that sink, so I spray it out with bleach, disinfectant, absolutely everything you can think of goes into that sink to try to clean it. And then the same goes for the shower. I'm just spraying it out with a disinfectant spray, and then I'll come along with my bucket of water mixed with bleach and just wipe the whole thing down.
Moving on to the toilet, so obviously I clean this toilet and our guest toilet the exact same way. I start from the inside, clean the inside first, and then I do the outside. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've seen videos where people clean the outside of it first and then clean the inside, but what happens if you get toilet water on the outside of it? Then you're stuck wiping it down again. Then moving on into the bedroom and putting away this pile of clean washing. This is one of my least favourite things to do. Then to finish up, I'm just going around the entire house and vacuuming all the dust off the skirting boards with the little brush tool for the vacuum. I've tried cleaning the dust off the skirting boards with a damp cloth. Don't ever do it, this is definitely the easiest way. And then just going over the floors with the vacuum and kicking the bin over by accident and then I will just mop. And that is going to be it for this video you guys, I really hope you enjoyed, hopefully this gave you some spring cleaning motivation, thank you guys so so much for watching, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye!